Does SEO even matter? Hi, I'm Brian Pombo. <laughs> Welcome back to Brian J. Pombo Live. I wanted to talk about SEO. What's it mean? All the rest, but really, I mean, the plain fact of the matter is, do you even need, need it? Do you even need to know about it? What's the point of it? SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization. A fancy way of saying, how can we make it to where Google finds us? I mean, basically. And nowadays, of, of course, there's more than search engines than just Google. And search engine optimization certainly plays to more than just Google. Uh, if you're doing any type of video work, you're one to show up in YouTube. If you have a product on Amazon, you're talking about showing up in Amazon, but you're still showing up in a search engine of sorts. Somebody's got a search engine you're trying to show up in. If you're, if, what people tend to find is that if you're playing towards Google, it's going to show up in other places. But it all depends on what you're looking to do and where you're looking to show. Uh, let me pull it back a ways and kind of give you my perspective on it. I started out a whole lot of, I would say, my marketing career in the SEO field. So it was the early 2000s. I was very interested in SEO. I fell into it via podcasting, via content marketing, technically. So I, I st was playing around with podcasts and blogs and social media and found that certain things gave me a, kind of a backdoor into Google and a way of showing up in places that you wouldn't have normally guessed you'd be able to show up in. And it was a really cool deal. It still is a cool deal. It's still something that you could play with and be able to show up. There's, there's, there's drawbacks in how you view the audience, but there's a huge, huge help to SEO that I wanna talk about. I wanna discuss the benefit of SEO and why SEO matters, because it does matter. It does. It is helpful to know some of it, but it's more helpful to know the perspective. With SEO, it doesn't matter how you want to appear. It doesn't really matter uh, how what you think the problem is. Everything SEO related comes back to you putting yourself in your ideal customer's uh, uh, chair, sitting down and seeing it from their perspective seeing it through their eyeballs and what they think the problem is. Not what you think, well, not what you think you know the problem is, what they think the problem is. And then finding a way to take where they're at and what they think the issue is and have it meet up with what you know the issue is, or what, what your experience tells you that they need help with. They think they need help with this when they really need help with that, and you being able to draw that line, take them from where they're at to where you're at. It, it's not an easy process, but you need to start with where they are. SEO comes in handy there. Let, let me give you an example. If you know that, um, uh, let's say you have a product that takes care of inflammation, right? And you know that inflammation is the source of a lot of pains, aches and pains in people's body. They may not be looking for inflammation, but they may be looking for a cure for their backache or for this or for that. Their, their, um, maybe they have aches and pains associated with arthritis. Uh, different things that you know that I'm, I'm just using this as an example. I'm not making any claims. You know that if you can get them your product, it will help them. But they don't, they're not thinking about the reasons why it works. And they're not looking for a product even. They're looking to fix what they view as the problem. They're looking to find what they think is the solution. So you've got to know what those words are, what those terms are where their mind's at, the questions that they're gonna be asking, and work that into your SEO. Now this plays back into content marketing, which is an area that I work a lot in. In fact, I have a whole course on whether you should even be doing content marketing or not, which you can get over at contentmarketingquestion.com. But if you're 
if, if you just want to know where they're at, that'll be huge to everything else that you do in marketing. Everything could be helpful if you know where their thought patterns are. It's not going to be exact. Obviously, you'll know, you'll find uh, customers that are more educated or they've gone down that road and they've, they've tried all the other doors and then found nothing and they already know exactly what they're looking for. They're looking for a product just like yours with the ingredients that it has and everything else. But they're going to be in the minority. Most people are going to be at square one. And if you can hit them at square one, you're going to get a majority of the people that you're looking for. Now, it may take education. It may take a process to get them from point A to point Z, but that you got to start somewhere. SEO is a great way of putting yourself in that perspective. It forces you to have to go after their words, their wording, their phraseology, <laughs> and, and meet them exactly where they're at. And then there's, there's the whole trick. I was just uh, on, the, on the phone today with a friend of mine walking through his website, uh, a couple of his landing pages, and the whole trick of taking a person from there into how do we talk to them and get them to take every step necessary to get them here. Not, not as easy as it looks, but SEO is a great start. Now, does it mean you need to know everything about SEO? No, I, I highly suggest... If you want to train yourself up because you don't want to pay somebody to do it, that's fine. You can do that. Uh, it, there's a lot of people that know what they're doing. In fact, I'm going to be talking with some of the people that know what they're doing. We're going to be putting out a course on SEO, especially in how it relates back to content marketing. So you'll want to watch for that. That's our. That's probably our next big training that we're coming out with. And I've, I've talked to a couple of experts that I know that it'll, it'll be fun getting all their perspectives and seeing a little bit of the differences in how people view it. Overall, there's a general concept if you understand that you're after somebody that's in the beginning of their process or you know specifically where they're at and but you got to know their wording not your wording their wording you got to know what they're looking for not what you're looking for and that's going to determine how you word how you title your web pages how you title your posts how you title the content that you put out there all of that creates good SEO, but it's based on what they're looking for, not what you're looking for. Hopefully that's helpful. This is a, this is a big thing. It's, not, it's, it's a tough thing to wrap your mind around because the deeper you get into doing your business, the tougher it is to see it from other people's perspectives. Like I was talking with my friend today, he, he, he's talking about paying people who know nothing about his industry so that they can go through the process and he can hear how they see it. And that's a, that's a very smart way of doing it. It's something to keep in mind. That's all I got for today. We'll be back tomorrow. In the meantime, hey, you get out there and let the magic happen.